I'm going to be showing you my top five AI and no code platforms for 2023. We're going to go through my top five and why I like each platform and how we use it in our business. Let's go through the five. Number one, Flutter Flow. Two, Pod Notes. Three, Autopod. Four, Opus Clip. And five, Active Pieces. Let's get into it. Number one, Flutter Flow. Flutter Flow has the new AI gen feature for their platform, and this will allow you to use AI in multiple different ways. For example, if you're trying to create or generate a front end, you can be doing that with just a few sentences. You can say, I'm trying to create a sign-in page, I'm trying to create a main page for a marketplace. You can be doing all of that in just a few minutes. Now, after it generates a page, you can also change the themes, you can change it for light or dark mode, and it allows you to see the code after you generate it. Here's a couple examples of some of the pages, what it would look like when you're asking it a few different requests, and this is the pages it would, it would create. After you create the front end, you can also use AI Gen to create the back end as well. Say for instance, you know what kind of back end you need. For example, uh, you need a back end that will uh, save profiles of your users and you're collecting a certain type of data. If you're describing the back end, the scheme of what you're going to be doing, it helps you. Now, I will say if you are brand new to creating a back end or this overwhelms you, we have guides down below that teach you about the basics of creating a back end design. But you can do this in just a couple sentences to get you started with a back end of what you're trying to create. And then you can connect it if you're using Firebase, a Superbase, whatever, you can be doing that right there. Now, an example in the AI Gen page that Flutterflow has, it allows you to get an example of how you're going to create it. For example, it says generate a collection for clients, their past project reviews and past successful sales. That allows the structure of the database to understand how it's going to build out the collections and all of those things and the relationship of that data. Because remember, without having a structure of data, your app is not smart. So it's going to help you build out your back end. From there, if you're not a designer, designer, no worries. You can also have a color scheme, uh, different fonts, and all of those different things. You can have that with the AI theme generator as well. And if you're going to really level up your app and you're going to need custom code, you can use this with the code, uh, the Copilot, when you're infusing custom code here. Now, I will say right uh, right now. If you have not, co if you're not, no experience in coding, keep in mind you want to know the basics. So when you generate it, you can understand the structure. You don't want to just go in blind and just start, you know, um, building this out <laughs> without having any code experience. But if you understand the basic structure of what you're asking for, this is really helpful. I would always have this as a, like the third option. If you're, if you're just getting started, focus on using AI, AI Gen for the front end and for your back end. Use this once you either work with another team that is more familiar with coding or start learning the basics and then you can really start utilizing this to the full effect as well. That's what we have for Flutterflow. If you have not signed up for it, there's a link down below. You can sign up for free and let me know, are you using Flutterflow right now? Are you using Bubble? Are you using Tita? What are you using for your application or your project? Next up, we have Podnotes. This allows you to really maximize your post-production when you're creating your podcast. And for us, we really focus on video first podcast because then you can strip the audio and then you can just have more options with your brand. But this is crucial. If you're an agency, if you're a freelancer and you're trying to get your name out there or you're trying to establish your expertise, it's great to have a podcast, a video podcast, so people can understand you, understand your philosophy, see if they want to work with you or you know buy whatever you want. But this helps you to really maximize your time and effort. So if you're if you need timestamps, transcriptions, show notes, um, audiograms, all those things, Podnote 
notes really helps you with all of those things in just a few minutes. If you already have a podcast, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you're interested in creating your own podcast for your industry or to showcase your skills, let me know because we have a brand new channel where we're highlighting how we've done this, how we're working with others, and how, more importantly, you can do this uh, to really make sure that you're maximizing your agency, being a freelancer, or making a side hustle showcasing your skills. Next up, we have Autopod. This is a game changer if you're providing a service where you're being, uh, if you're a video editor, if you're editing your own podcast where you have multi view. Now, if it's just you as the main host and you're doing this via, um, via Zoom or something like that, maybe you're not really interested in this, but this really allows your content to be more dynamic, especially when you're switching shots and switching frames when you have multiple views. And even if you just have two views for yourself, this really helps. So this is a plugin that you can use with Adobe Premiere. And this allows you to work up to 10 cameras and 10 microphones. And then that allows um, this plugin to configure it and change scenes based on the speaker, based on the cadence that you want. It's really something. Uh, we've been using it right now, our proficiency, we're using another program and then we're bringing everything into Adobe Premiere just because our team is working with different software, but this is still saving us tons of time using Autopod. So that's something that we're going to be continuing to experiment on the second channel and also what we're doing with the new video podcast as well. It's really interesting. And again, if you're already a editor, a podcast producer, and you're doing it as just for yourself and doing all of those uh, different jobs, or if you have an agency where you're having someone go through the clips or doing all the multi view, this is a game changer. This will s save you so many hours every single time with your clients. And again, this helps you if you're looking to make more money as a side hustle, get into a side hustle where you're going to be able to help with automation, producing, all those things. Autopod, it's, it's great. Along with the same theory uh, or along with the same theme of creating content and maximizing your time, uh, Opus Clip, I really like this. And this allows you to take one long form video or video podcast and create tons of viral clips in just a few minutes. This not only does it create clips, and we've seen this with our great friends with uh, Repurpose.io, shout out to Annie, but this also allows you to have a lot of different prompts and you tell the system what kind of podcast or, create, or video that you're creating, and then it will look to maximize or find the best clips that align with what you're trying to create. And it gives it a score. That's really, I love this thing. I, I'm gonna be doing more in the future with this. Again, we're doing this with our new channel, DIY Media Makers, where we're teaching content creators and educators to become their own media giant and create their own empire. We're using Opus Clip right now. And again, it's, it's just wonderful to see. Next up, we have active pieces. This helps you if you're trying to automate your marketing, sales, or operations. I see this very similar to if you have used Make or Zapier. This is another great alternative. Uh, just an example, as you're seeing right here, if you're trying to, say for instance, create content and you're looking for um, a certain theme or becoming an expert in a industry, you can be using this to connect it with OpenAI and ask ChatGPT to write you certain tweets, and then it will auto-generate those tweets and put it out there. Now, you can also be more specific and be really on point or very specific with the type of tweets you're looking to do, but this will, again, help you if you're trying to grow your brand or to get your message out there. You can be using things like active pieces to really do this and maximize your reach without you spreading yourself too thin or having a social media manager. And really, you can be doing this a lot with a small team or just yourself. 
In the comment section down below, let me know which one of these platforms interests you. Which one are you using right now? Are you using something else? Let me know in the comment section and share it with the community. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. We put out these videos every single week. I'll see you in the next video.